All right, good afternoon Midlothian and Midlothian ISD. It's a great day in MISD. Welcome to the February 4th, 2021 community update. Uh, as always, we like to start out with a few MISD proud shout outs. So I have some to share with you today. Uh, congratulations to Midlothian High School senior Landon Buford. He has recently received an appointment to the Navy Military Academy. And also Midlothian High School senior Max Allen received an appointment to the Air Force Military Academy. Congratulations to both of these outstanding young men and we look forward to your future successes in both, both of those military academies. We enjoyed having our Midlothian High School and Heritage High School softball teams come together on Tuesday night in a scrimmage where they took donations to give to the Texas High School Coaches Association Education Foundation Benevolence Fund uh, for their version of Our Day to Shine. This was a true example of the MISD family that we are better together. So thank you to our Panthers and our Jaguars for celebrating that event together. And speaking of athletics, yesterday was National Signing Day for 10 Midlothian High School student athletes and five Heritage High School student athletes. Congratulations to these athletes as they go on to pursue their academic and athletic careers at the collegiate level. We have enjoyed seeing so many campuses celebrating the kickoff to Black History Month, including our MHS Black Student Union, honoring and celebrating unity, diversity, equity, inclusion, and advocacy. The purpose of Black History Month is to honor the contributions of African Americans to US history and Black History Month originally started as a week long celebration in 1926 and then moved to a month long recognition in 1976. This is such a great opportunity for our district to showcase our students uh, to the students the brilliance and contributions of those incredible historical figures who came before us. And speaking of celebrating Black History Month, I was honored yesterday to record a reading of the children's book, Hidden Figures, in order to participate in the Mountain Peak Elementary School read-in event, which is a celebration for Black History Month. If you haven't had a chance to read the book, Hidden Figures, I encourage you to do so. It shares a great real life story. We're MISD proud to celebrate National School Counselor Week. Our counselors are incredibly important to how we serve the whole child beyond academics. And our counselors work with our students across the district and facilitate many tough conversations that are important to our students to feel safe and feel supported. Additionally, they, had a great, they have a great role and they lead a great role in helping advise students in course selections and career pathways. You will see our counselors highlighted this week on social media. So please take a moment and retweet your school's counselor and show how proud you are of your, your school counselor. Agenda, uh, some agenda items for us to cover today. We have a board workshop this upcoming Monday evening. Our board will meet Monday at 530 uh, for a workshop. And during this meeting, we will share updates on the transition of the curriculum instruction department, along with the survey data from Bright Bites and the Youth Truth Survey. As, you, as parents and community, you may recall taking the Bright Bites survey in November and the Youth Truth Survey uh, as well in early November. So we'll be looking forward to you joining in. You can watch us uh, live stream or you can attend in person on Monday. And speaking of our board, last Friday morning, they held a workshop, a board workshop to discuss the opportunity to leverage some grant funds that could be used for technology. We had a great conversation with our board and are thankful to our board for allowing us to use those time sensitive grant dollars to acquire a cache of Chromebooks to be used for future online testing only. As we know, this will be a required no matter what in the coming years. This grant totaled $627,000 total. We had used some of that for hotspots and teacher devices prior to this allotment, and we would have lost nearly $520,000 in federal funds had we not moved forward with the Chromebooks for testing. This decision had no bear, has no bearing on the final decision for the one-to-one -one device refresh that Mr. Garakani spoke of last week. However, we do hope to get these uh, Chromebooks in district in the coming weeks. Um, so technology can configure those, deploy those to campuses and allow those staff members interested to pilot them prior to our final board one-to-one uh, -one decision. Um, and we've pushed that decision back for a final refresh on one-to-one -one devices um, for grades three through 12 to March or April. Additionally, our board has been busy finalizing the superintendent search firm contract with Walsh Gallegos. In the coming days, we will have more information on the timeline of this process. So stay tuned or feel free to visit our superintendent search we uh, website located at www.misd.gs. And there's a link directly on the main page for that search process. 
With COVID, many uh, have you have heard about our growth in MISD and across the state that it's lower than anticipated. However, MISD recorded its highest enrollment ever yesterday at 9,897 amazing kiddos. And so we are 64 students ahead of this week last year. In a typical year, we would be about 250 students ahead of last year. So while there's still a little bit of growth, um, it's not as significant as we would normally expect. Our strongest is at the elementary school in the past few weeks. Speaking of elementary, the naming of elementary school number eight, that nomination process has opened and the community and staff committee is following a CW local board policy. And you can nominate a recommended name by going to our MISD Facebook uh, and completing the form that's linked there. This nomination window is open for several weeks, so please consider sharing a nomination with the committee. Now with our COVID update, here's uh, we have Dr. Heathcote coming on. Um, and also, since this is hiring and staffing season, we wanted to share some amazing benefits that we have to offer in MISD that helps us recruit the best and brightest. So we will bring, so she will be bringing you today's The More You Know segment. And this is a change from what was in the original email this morning, but the social and emotional health segment will be coming in a future session. So for today, Dr. Heathcote, welcome. All right, thank you, Dr. Carpenter. So I'll start with a COVID update. So just so you guys know, we have seen a small uptick in cases since last Wednesday. Um, our new active COVID cases average about eight new cases each day, and we have four campuses that are just over 1%. We continue to monitor all active cases. We're looking for connections within specific classrooms or specific activities to best keep staff and students safe. And just know that if needed, we may close off a classroom and switch them to virtual learning for a period of time or close an activity or an extracurricular group and pause their participation in order to be proactive in our efforts to mitigate the spread, which we have done from time to time over the course of the year. As you know, we also transition students who are in close contact with a positive case to virtual learning for the duration of the quarantine period. So to keep you informed, we've transitioned 130 students to virtual learning due to close contact since January. And of those, five have tested positive. So that's less than 4% of spread within our close contacts. And while we would like to see our number at zero, we continue to believe that our mitigation efforts are working and helping the stop of, of spreading COVID-19 at school. So as Dr. Carpenter mentioned, we are busy preparing for the 2021-2022 school year and excited to offer numerous benefits to our current staff and to potential candidates. A few highlights from our competitive benefit package include the use of the MISD clinic where staff can see a nurse practitioner for just $10. This clinic does virtual and in-person visits and is also available for the dependents of MISD employees. And as you may know, the social and emotional health of our staff and students is a top priority. MISD has also partnered with Creek Bend Center for Counseling in Midlothian to offer reduced rate counseling for all employees and their dependents. In addition, Teladoc services are available for staff members who select certain insurance plans through the district, and Teladoc also offers virtual counseling visits for staff members. MISD also has a staff daycare for our youngest members of the MISD family. And then this year alone, the MISD board has given staff raises as well as a one-time supplemental pay of $1,000 for all full-time staff and $500 for part-time staff. And they've increased the district contribution for employees who participate in the MISD insurance options. But please know that this is not an exhaustive list of benefits, but just a highlight reel of some of the great things that we offer staff members in MISD. So as we begin recruiting new staff for the 2021-2022 school year, We'll share these benefits and more as we look for applicants who exemplify our cultural tenets. If you know of individuals who are interested in being part of MISD and they're passionate about serving others and fostering innovation, we certainly want to meet them. We routinely post new job openings as they become available. And interested individuals can uh, find employment opportunities through our website or through the Teacher Job Network at teacherjobnetwork.org. With the ongoing challenges of COVID, many job fairs have transitioned to a virtual platform. MISD is pr uh, participating in numerous college job fairs through the Handshake platform, which is new for us this year, but it gives us the opportunity to meet with numerous applicants in a safe environment. Our principals and leadership teams are excited about this new opportunity. And we are also planning an MISD job fair for the spring. And we will post that information on our website and also communicate it through our social media pages as soon as we have all of that worked out. So I'm going to turn it back over to you, Dr. Carpenter. All right, thank you, Dr. Heathcote. Um, we certainly appreciate you sharing some amazing things coming out of our uh, human resources department for our The More You Know segment this week. 
And we hope that our community finds the, that information helpful and can help us recruit some of the most amazing people to join our team and our MISD family. So thank you for joining us today. I look forward uh, to getting out on campuses again tomorrow and seeing our beautiful kiddos and teachers having and doing all sorts of amazing things in the building. So have a wonderful day. Enjoy the sunshine and we will see you next week.